Easy 203 Yankee, London 12795. Easy 203 Yankee. For a number of years now, we've been developing an instrument which we believe can detect volcanic ash in the atmosphere. During the eruptions in Iceland last year, in April last year, EasyJet were, were trying hard to get back into the air and, and make sure their passengers got to their uh, destination safely. And they found me through the web and their chief engineer rang me up and said, we think you have an answer to our problem. We decided there was enough there that we could collaborate to develop a detector such that if we had another uh, eruption, we could minimize that uh, disruption cost to our passengers. So here we are today. The instrument behind us here is, is called the Airborne Volcanic Object Imaging Detector, or AVOID, and it's been purposely designed to look ahead from an aircraft and see the hazardous components in volcanic ash clouds. These are the first trials that we've done. So far, everything's going well. It's a little bit cloudy, but I think it's uh, possible to fly up to the Etna. Yes, I think so. This is the culmination of around 18 months' work now to build the instrument uh, that was first uh, put forward by Fred. It's complete and this is the airborne testing. Uh, the duration of climbing is uh, 20 minutes and then we are on the summit. Yep. We have a very flexible aircraft that can maneuver and take us to any position. Um, it will fly up to uh, 12,000 feet. So this is above the craters at Etna here, which is currently in eruption. Um, and on board we have a monitor, so you basically see a, a visible image, which is it's a thermal image, but it's converted into something that we can see with our eyes. And it's able to distinguish ash, the, the particles that, that damage jet engines, from meteorological clouds, ice and water. The instrument can image up to about 100 kilometers for an aircraft that's traveling uh, at 30,000 feet, so at cruise altitude or higher, um, which would give the pilot about five to 10 minutes warning so he's able to tactically avoid any ash. It measures temperatures, heat, so it works equally well during the day or night. There's very little that would stop it from working. Well, we're really pleased. Um, the results, as far as I'm aware, are good in that we, the detector is working as planned. Now we need to take that a little bit further, and we've agreed with them that we will go and do further testing at another active volcano that produces a lot more ash. At the end of the trials, we, we're satisfied with everything. We will move on to a larger trial, which is to mount it onto a commercial jet and fly much higher, 30 or 33,000 feet. Well, I would hope by certainly the end of next year we would have a complete unit, even though it be the first production unit finished. And then what we would do is we would then place an order for a number of units that can be fitted quickly um, to the wingtip of uh, our A320s and we would hope that we'd have them available to us in 2013. We're already talking to regulators, other uh, operators, the Ministry of Defence who are all interested in the technology and the success of these trials and we've agreed with them that once we get to a stage where the technology is proven can be installed on aircraft that we will share that with them. They've said that there's, they have no reason to uh, just monopolize the technology and, and we would like to see every aircraft use it or every airline. It's taken more than 20 years to get to this point so for me it's, it's fantastic, it's a really exciting time. They're not going to need 280 knots on the nose, now I've got one in front, one behind.